I'm going to take a little bit of a dive into the hit by Alf Samuelson on Cam Neely in the 1991 conference final. You can see Neely reaches for the puck, Samuelson goes for a hit, and they go knee on knee. That hit took Neely out of the series, and Samuelson went on to win the Stanley Cup with the Pittsburgh Penguins later that year. But how dirty was it? It's talked about as one of those greasy plays that everyone should hate Samuelson for, took out a superstar player, was the only way that Pittsburgh beat Boston. First of all, that's not even close to true. But second of all, watch this. Neely reaches for the puck. So does Samuelson. Samuelson has gone stick on puck. He's in a nice low squat. He couldn't be in a better position for contact. Look who's not really braced for contact. Cam Neely. Samuelson stays on his path of travel. Neely's the one who tries to avoid contact. Neely's the one who makes the sudden shift in body position. Watch again here. Neely pushes the puck and tries to slip by, which he's allowed to do. He's allowed to try and make an escape move. But this is going to be beautiful shoulder-on-shoulder -shoulder contact. And as soon as Neely manages to get his upper body out of the way, he's going to avoid upper body contact. The only thing left now that's going to run into each other is the knees. And that's not created by anything Samuelson did. That is all Neely. If Neely stayed low and braced for contact like Samuelson did, there'd be no issues here. But he tries to slip by again, which is his right to do. If he gets by, he's gone. But he doesn't get by. He doesn't shift fast enough to move his whole body out of the way, just his upper body. And unfortunately, knee-on-knee -knee contact is the result of a play like that. It's just one of those things that happens. There's nothing dirty there. No reason we should throw the book at Samuelson for a hockey play gone wrong.